Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer, and we're returning to a Let's Play of Command Modern Operations. Not our naval operations, so the successor to that. We are, of course, playing the Tanker Walls scenario, so a repeat of Operation Montes, I want to say, where the US sailed a couple of ships through the Persian Gulf in a demonstration against Iran uh, to ensure basically freedom of shipping rights. We've been under attack, and we failed readily a little bit in our mission, so LSCS1, freedom over here. Um, has been stricken heavily by an enemy missile, probably a land launch missile from I think the vicinity of uh, this over here. So yeah, we we failed a little bit over there. Nevertheless, we do have three ships that are still in order, although I realized I did make a huge mistake. And that is when we look at the aircraft over here, we have these drones um, that are kind of nice and that are actually capable of sending uh, basically hydro missiles. Uh, the enemy's way so that's nice to see but um, unfortunately we basically uh, I went on a bit of a killing spree and got tunnel visioned and basically sunk all of these ships uh, all of these Iranian ships uh, but didn't quite keep enough reserves I think so uh, that was somewhat unfortunate because it did not allow us to um, properly deal with the enemy and uh, the way we, or we should have because we now have no weapons at all uh, that we can engage with so basically only our deck guns very little in terms of air support uh, I think we do have a couple of helicopters with potentially Hellfire missiles that's gonna be helpful but it's not gonna be everything that we have um, and there are a couple of enemy ships still around over here they have very limited range I think we can go to slightly faster speed over here and at some point we will be able to engage these guys we've struck another one of the uh, the frigate over here so that's nice to see and um, that I think is going down mm, on the other hand some of these that was just too tough a fight uh, for my test that should never have happened in the same um, to the same extent let's go as fast as we can with our remaining ships and hope uh, that we can deal a little bit of damage against this guy here uh, before he's capable of dealing damage against us right anyone capable of firing yeah you you got a couple of guns that you can allocate to that and I'm gonna try to view the 3d view over here again and hoping that that is gonna load that's looking pretty good okay so there we go yeah the attack view integration this guy has now been engaged but he does not seem to have suffered quite as much as I would like to see so let's um, allocate more weapons basically uh, onto you I think we can allocate like 10 more rounds or salvos I should say and over here ooh, uh, we've got our ship there is the enemy ship so so we start the game over here I think we can also see potentially some of the fire coming in there yeah does not look though as as though we did a lot of damage so Given that he is now nearly within range, uh, I'm simply going to allocate pretty much, let's say, 30 rounds uh, onto you. Sell those. Uh, we should see them coming in very rapidly there. And hopefully going to strike the enemy strongly and hopefully they're going to take out at least his uh, capabilities of harming us. He's definitely dropped in speed, so that's uh, encouraging to see. Would it be possible to engage him with a couple of our 30mm guns? He might soon be able to launch rockets as, at us and, and I'm not very keen on that idea. So I suppose you can only use these guys here. So let's simply use that. Hoping to, to strike him there. I mean he's much slower. So maybe? At least he's not launching anything yet. Okay. You can rake him basically with a 50 cal. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna shoot at him with a 50 cal um, with this guy over here engaging. Yeah, that was a hit, but not a big one. Do we have any 30 millimeter? Yeah, we do. Okay. So yeah, I think 20, 20, 30 millimeter. Rounds will be fine as well. Just try to rake him basically again. That does not look like a trajectory of a 30mm gun. But you know what? I'm fine with that. As long as we are taking him out. I'm going to be happy. And there we go. 
Hopefully he's gonna sink. I don't know, but definitely he's immobilized and he's not capable of striking us anymore. So that's okay. Interestingly enough, this helicopter can't really keep up with our very fast uh, group over here, so that is nice to see. So we've been warned about a couple of Japanese, oh sorry, actually, how about you? Can you engage this guy with something else than any hellfire? No. You're extremely slow. Let's try to come this way. Yeah, you're just... No, 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 no. You are capable of making some speed. It looks like, at least. 11 knots. Could be worse, I suppose. You're still dead in the water. That's okay. Good. Um, can you engage him? Only hellfire. And the 30mm mount is actually not operational, so I guess that's a no. Right, so we've been warned that the Chinese might actually be trying something uh, over there. Let's try to accelerate time here a little bit. See what's going to happen. Of course, we're going to be extreme, going extremely fast over here. There are a couple of ships. What are you? You are skunk. So we don't exactly know what you are. But I'm slightly concerned about this range thing over there. What have we got in terms of our aircraft? We've got... The MH60. Don't want to really launch you right now, though. All of the other guys are still preparing, and it's probably going to take about two hours or so. We don't know which of these ships are potential enemies, but that does not mean that there are none. I'd really like to get one of our air groups into the air and just start to start to encourage them to to take a little bit of a of an approach on these and just try to identify which ships are there but again we only have the MH60 that might be enough to to take out a ship okay let's launch it and see what's gonna come out of that there we go there it is brick one yeah there we go it's actually nice that this is not pausing entirely, uh, but rather being a little bit less uh, less drastical. Okay, let's select brick one over here, and then let's try to identify what these ships are just by coming around over here. Why are you turning away from us all of a sudden, I wonder? This is a tanker. This here is a potentially commercial vessel though. I suppose we need to deaccelerate here a little bit. Okay, let's try to identify this gentleman. Not sure why he's all of the sudden turning around. That might mean we have our first first potential enemy over here. One of the Chinese ships that's can we actually see the helicopter come in? Yeah there it is. Could you just sort of read its name, please? Does it even have a name? Whoop. Well, that was a pretty fast drop. Does not look like... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to know exactly who this guy is. Well, maybe I was a bit too curious. So there's the surface to missile air missile coming in at us. And that potentially spells spells a problem for us. So uh, let's assign Let's assign six. So why are you out of ballside limits? I would think that you are within boreside limits, and that definitely, of course, is an enemy over here. Let's get to normal acceleration. Let's zoom in here a little bit. We can see the missile coming up over there. There's another missile coming in. Vanguard. Well, you would sort of expect them to have that. It's surprising that you are taking the approach of just being directly above that. I did just manually order to order you to attack. 
or auto attack, I should say. Are you doing anything? You seem to be doing a little bit of a turn. I'm not sure I really appreciate that. No, of course. Well, at least we know our enemies, though. I should have waited for the drone. I really should have waited for the drone. Okay, so what aircraft have we got now? Nothing, right? Yeah, let's try to come up over there and engage him. But with what? We've got absolutely nothing. Oh my, oh my. Well, you should always treat contact as though they could be enemy. Maybe if we keep away from him, he'll not notice where we are. And then he might not be able to launch at us. Oh, what's this? What's this over here? So we've got a potential goblin over here. Um, let's get a little bit slower and see what that is. So goblin means, of course, a potential submarine contact, which might or might not be there. Let's take this helicopter and see whether we can find anything over there. It's a little bit cheating that we seem to be knowing this due to the uh, attack view. But still, it's nice to be able to finally just visualize what's going on. At least I think so. Right, so this uh, gentleman does have two torpedoes and a couple of boys and sonar boys. So he's going to come over here and he's probably going to dip his sonar um, that I think he is carrying. And then hopefully going to engage uh, this this submarine if at all possible. Can we engage with this guy over here? No, no not directly. Only, oh no, no, there, there is the torpedo. It has already been launched, but apparently it is not really capable of tracking them. Look at just how it's wobbling about, just trying to find a contact. Maybe it should be locking onto that? Yes, it is locking onto, onto the enemy right there. And it is coming after that. So that definitely is good to see. By the way, you can see, I think he's trying to approach and get into a target position on our ships there. So hopefully that, that um, torpedo here is going to work out. But it's definitely following the submarine there. Maybe it's not going to be able to strike. Maybe it's going to run out of energy. We don't know yet. But this looks pretty promising. It might also miss, so... Nope, that's looking pretty good. We can see the weapon end game over here. So, yep, kinetic base hit probably 85%. And that was, yeah, basically unmodified, so that's okay. And you guys are probably more or less out of fuel, right? Being a full field three minutes here, so that's going to be relatively soon. Okay, still good to see. Right. Not so good to see is the fact that there is a vampire coming up that way, so that means a couple of... Uh, stop. No, 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 no. Oh, dear God. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's just too fast. Okay, right. It, Let's make sure that we are getting this a little bit closer here. Right. So you guys are coming in extremely slowly. And these are more and more missiles. Is there anything that we do have to attack these? Yes. You three guys. Nuka, so these are decoys. These guys up here, I think, the rims. Oh, weapon mount is not operational. Let's do it like that. Another vampire there. Let's accelerate time here a little bit. It's a little bit YOLOing at this point because I was just missing a couple of things, but you know, it's difficult to do this and uh, be at the same time fast enough because this isn't a day long series. Right, there we go. Missiles are coming in. Being launched there. That's looking promising so far. I'm pretty sure that we are going to be able to take them out. Yeah. Four missiles there. Three missiles on the last one. Yeah. No chance that all of these are going to miss. So that's nice. Right. No aircraft here yet. So let's continue our approach there. And let's make sure that we are trying to engage this gentleman here. Is it going to be the only missile? No. 
Well, well, well. That's fine. Basically, we don't need to be exact. It's probably going to be a fourth one as well. They might actually be missing us. That's going to be interesting. Let's try to zoom in on these guys. Can we not? Where are they coming from? Somewhere over there. Right. No, they are definitely coming in for us. And we have absolutely no, no defenses over here. Let's grab you specifically and see what you can do against these guys. Let's try to decoy him. This weapon mount is not operational, and I think that might be what is killing us here. Yeah, and you've been hit, and you are sinking. Too bad. So we've lost an entire ship over here. That's the first. Um, and I'm not too, too optimistic about the other ones as well. But maybe we can make this mad dash here towards the coastline there. New contact. Torpedo. So there's a torpedo in the water. And a goblin. Ha <laughs> ha. Well. There we go. So we are, we are toast basically here. This is much harder, much, much harder. And then I originally expected. So yeah, and our guys here are not nearly ready. So yeah, this is this is a big problem. We don't have any capabilities of fighting that. Let's just make sure that we are getting this a little bit faster. Okay, you guys, um, can you go actually on flank speed? I would really like to have you try to avoid the problem here. Now, let's have a look at the torpedo. I don't think we can see it. Well, you're trying to run away from that. That's probably smart, so you're trying to outrun its kinetic energy. But whether or not you're going to be successful, I do not know. There's another torpedo in the water. And we're definitely not going where we want to be. And another one? Come on, how many torpedoes can there be? <laughs> and you just bumped into the land there for a second. Okay, guys, um... Ah, what's going on? You're actually coming by the submarine there, but you can't do anything about it. That's pathetic. Okay, come on. And there's another torpedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we are being toasted here. This is just not going to work out for us at all. Basically wasted all of our capabilities there. We might outrun some of these torpedoes. But they are also reloading, and I think creating some trouble for us that way. Can you at least go try to go very far so that we are not really... If we are not going to make it out of here, it's just pure luck. This is not skillful play, I realize, at all. Uh, but still, I think it's it's nice to see uh, this being you know somewhat showcased um, in terms of what this simulator can do. And, you know, what it sometimes does when you're just being plain stupid. Right, let's try to sail you away. At least we're doing a little bit here. And I think we might able might be able to get down here. Although probably not with both of our ships, uh, or th all three of our ships, because we do have this one over here, uh, which has a horrific speed. Right, let's see whether this is going to be successful over here. Man, I'm, I'm really disappointed in myself that I didn't quite... Scenario has concluded. We have been performed with an ev evaluation. Major defeat. Yes, yes, of course. So scoring lock, score change from 0 to minus 10. Reason, 10 point penalty. Helicopter drone lost. Helicopter man lost. Was another 25 points. Helicopter, another drone, another drone. Yep. Yeah. LCS sunk. That's another. That's another 250 points. 
and then we are making it to to the point to the final point, and that is giving us 400 points. But yeah, this is this is not this is not a successful engagement at all over here. We've lost a couple of drones, we've lost a couple of helicopters, but most importantly, we've lost an entire ship. We've expended a lot of things, um, and the enemy, I mean, the enemy did suffer an enormous amount of damage over here. Uh, but all in all, this is just way not worth it um, on, on, a, on a military strategical, a strategical point of view. So all in all, a big, big loss over here uh, on our side. YouTube, mostly my bad play, uh, I have to admit. So uh, nevertheless, it's also a very fine scenario. I think it's it's got its surprises and, and you need to be a little bit more mindful of your resources than maybe I was. Especially with all of these submarines running around over here. Uh, but that should not have been an issue had I been a little bit more uh, resilient first. I might have sailed closer towards this coast over here. That would have brought us more into the range of all of these boats. Uh, but definitely not so much into the range of uh, these coastal installations. Uh, that of course were the main problem over here. And you can potentially see it on tech view. It's probably going to be extremely small. So let's get this bigger here. So you can see there are a couple of ground installations up here. So this is a surface to air battery. And potentially some over there. Yeah, Sam. And I don't know what this is, but it's probably going to be the thing that did kill us. Couple of submarines here. That's a very nice design, actually, I find. Yeah, but nevertheless, it also should be said that um, these guys over here, these uh, new ships, they do suffer some weaknesses. They don't, they don't really stand that up that well in a fight. Um, especially they don't really have staying power. They might be able to fend off the sporadic attack. But even it seems like even Iran would be capable of um, overcoming the defenses of four of these guys um, a little bit just by overwhelming them. They didn't even send that many missiles at us. So that's a little bit disappointing, really. That being said, I think this was a very nice uh, episode here. So thank you very much for watching. Do let me know whether you'd like to see more of Command. Um, and if so, what type of missions uh, or whether you do already might have a scenario in mind. Um, and I'll be happy to try it out. So... Thank you guys for watching. Do leave a like and all of that and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.